Well, I'm back from holidays. I don't even know what the date is. I know it's Sunday, and I have to go back to work tomorrow. But um, I'm back. While I was away, I went to several thrift stores and found not a whole lot. But I thought I'd do a little thrift haul to show you what I did find. Um, I did find a, a lot in the way of uh, clothing and shoes. My husband found a brand new Under Armour golf shirt with the tag still on. Um, found some gorgeous dresses. But uh, in terms of my, my usual type of haul, not a whole lot considering the number of thrift stores I went to. Um, anyway, I was in, I don't know how many states, West Virginia for sure. I went um, probably Georgia, Tennessee, Michigan, many states. Anyway, let me show you what I found. So, um, this is a, an older box of bulbs. I don't know. They're made by Kobe Glass Products in Rhode Island. Um, I promptly dropped them and smashed one. I don't know that these bulbs are original to the box. These look like a different brand. Um, but it, like I said, it wasn't the it wasn't so much the box that I was after, or the bulbs that I was after, as I was the box. So um, the original price was 99 cents from a drugstore, and the Goodwill price was $1.99. And I might not have got these, but I was confused. When I went in, I'm sure I heard her say, Red tags were half off, orange tags were 20% off. Well, it actually turned out to be the other way around. So I thought I was paying a dollar for this. Paid a dollar sixty. Oh well. So, uh, yeah, the box is in good shape and I have plans for craft for that. And there's broken glass everywhere. I got another one of these plates. Um, so I think this makes eight now. This one is a Corning. And it was 99 cents. This is restaurant wear. And it's called Ruby something or other. I can't remember. Anyway. I got a piece of iron stone. This is uh, Johnson Brothers. I have a feeling this is an underplate for something because um, it's certainly not a saucer. Um, paid 39 cents for it in Georgia. Yeah, that was when I was in Savannah. I also got this trivet. It's in the shape of a pineapple. I don't know anything else about it. It's made in China. Okay, so I know that about it. Um, I think I paid 99 cents for it. So I'm going to see if I can clean it up. And if I can't, um, I might paint it. So we'll see what happens with this. It's a good project. Um, I got this mold, this heart-shaped mold. I have two other heart-shaped molds, but not with the cherries on it. Um, they're different designs, and I thought this would make a nice group of three to hang um, next to my kitchen window. Um, paid a dollar ninety nine for it, which I thought was a horrible price, but uh, it's marked West Bend. Anyway, clean that up, and I, I, th I think it's unusual. I don't think I've ever seen one with cherries before. Found this little guy. Um, I looked not carefully enough. I see all the blue flowers petals are broken off, but he was 59 cents. I don't know what the deal is with this. It has this little lippy thing and a little hole in the back. 
So I have no idea what it's for. Anyway, I'll clean it up. And I think it'll look nice with my Valentine's Day decor that I've, I had out this year. Um, I got this Fire King bowl. Again, I screwed up. I thought it was 50% off, but it wasn't. It was 20% off, so I paid $4 for this. I'm super sad. Um, but it's a good size, and I think a little bit of elbow grease, and that'll bring the color back to milky white. Um, got this mug. Like I mentioned in other videos, I like to pick up the mugs that have um, monograms on them. I use them to make gifts for my social work students when they start their placement. I fill them up with candy and wrap them up in like, clear cellophane and put curly ribbon on them. And they always appreciate that. I thought this one was really unique and pretty with that paisley C. has a C on the back as well. And I don't know this brand. Uh, I think I paid 39 cents for that. Oh, and it says love moment. Isn't that cute? I got this one at the same time and it's got an Irish harp and some uh, shamrocks. It says herself. On the back it says bless your little Irish heart and every other Irish part. Uh, paid 39 cents for that. It needs to be scrubbed up but I thought there's no marking on it. I thought that would be really cute um, as part of my decor for St. Patrick's Day. I had a picture of this on Instagram. Instagram, it's uh, an Avon bottle of cologne, and it is pretty gross. It needs a bath really bad. Um, but I think I can scrub it up, and uh, I can probably make some kind of a clock face for this and touch up the paint on the little golden lid. Um, and I paid 99 cents for it, and I just think it's really pretty. and. I know that uh, Avon used to be quite a hot collectible, not so much anymore, but I do uh, like the milk glass pieces. And speaking of milk glass, I bought this uh, bud vase. That's something I noticed was milk glass was really, really hard to come across. And when I did find it, it was really expensive. Um, yeah crazy prices so I didn't pick up any other milk glass except for the that that Avon bottle and and this bud vase I, I think I paid 99 cents for it um, got this picture frame for 99 cents it's uh, I think this is going to be a project as well. I've got an idea that I will share in a future video. Um, I don't know what the label on the back says, uh, but I think it's a nice quality frame and um, it'll become something really interesting. And uh, I got this burlap canvas. I paid 99 cents for it. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Uh, it has these weird little wooden pieces sort of stapled in there, so I'm not sure where they go or what they do. Maybe they go in these little slots or something? I don't know. So if you know or if you have any ideas what I should make with this, I would be happy to hear your ideas. And uh, I do have a Cricut so I can cut stencils um, but I'm not I'm just not sure how to go about it like would the vinyl stick to the burlap and not like seep under do I have to prepare it in some way I just don't know um, maybe I'll look online and see if there's some other ideas and my favorite find was this blanket it's super huge. It's a queen size and it's I got this in whoops. I got this in Savannah, but it's Canadian from a woolen mill in Prince Edward Island. Um 
I did look this up and it, they continue to make these blankets. Uh, this one is, is rose tweed and it had the, the color is woven with the natural wool color. So that's natural wool and it's uh, stitched. The blanket stitch is natural wool color and then it's woven in a tweed pattern um, in the rose color. It's in excellent shape. Um, it's interesting that this got to Savannah. Um, I paid paid eight dollars for it I think. It's in really good shape, no holes. I have no way of knowing if it's vintage or if it's new. It, it kind of has a vintage look to me but when I looked online you can still buy these. Uh, you can order them. They're quite pricey, but uh, I really like it. So I'm going to take it to the dry cleaners. Um, the website recommended washing it in cool water with mild soap and laying it out to dry. But this thing is huge. It's February. I have no place to lay it out. Um, and I want to get it cleaned because God knows where it's been. There's, it looks like a lot of little cat hairs or something on it. Um, not sure that I'll keep it or not. It's beautiful uh, and I might try to make back a little bit of money that I spent on my fantastic holiday. Um, if anybody is wondering what they should do for a winter trip, I need to recommend that you consider Savannah. We had the best time. I can't wait to go back. Um, next year instead of driving down, I think we'll fly down and then just stay near the riverfront and take advantage of all the beautiful um, restaurants and shopping and entertainment and uh, the excellent transportation system. Um, we did not get to spend enough time and while we were there we had a tiny tiny bit of rain for one you know brief hour but as soon as it was gone that was it we had record temperatures I understand up in the high 80s um, yeah it was it was really wonderful uh, I had done some research before we booked our holidays and had uh, had written down a few things that were considered must-dos and must-sees while in Savannah. And one thing that was never on any of the list that we just happened um, to do was, uh, it was about an hour and a half long tour on um, the Riverboat Queen. And it was fantastic. Uh, we saw dolphins jumping in and out of the river, uh, Atlantic bottlenose dolphins. We saw bald eagles. Uh, we drifted past, uh, well, I guess we were under, we were under fire from one of the uh, reenactors at Fort Johnson, I think, or Fort Jackson. Oh, I can't remember now. It was one of the forts that we didn't go to. We went and saw Fort Pulaski. Uh, but I guess this is something that they regularly do. They wait for the um, the ship to come by and then they load a six pound cannon <clears throat> and set it off and it is terrifically loud but it, was, it sure was a crowd pleaser. And seeing the dolphins, it was like going on a whale watching trip. Like every the whole world stopped when you saw them leap out of the water. It was really exciting. And, I, and at first nobody believed me when I said, oh, there's a dolphin. And they're like, no, no, this is a river, there can't be a dolphin. And then I kept seeing dolphins. And then finally other people started to see the dolphin. And the, the, the narrator who, or the tour guide, whoever it was, he says, oh, I guess you guys have seen the dolphins. And uh, oh, those are American bottle, or Atlantic bottlenose dolphins, yada yada yada, and finally people believed me I wasn't crazy, I was actually seeing dolphins. Anyway, so that's my 
fantastic trip, my not so fantastic thrift haul, unfortunately, although I am super excited about this blanket and um, and this this cherry mold, heart shaped mold, and a couple of projects that I have here. So I got a, I got some good things, but not uh, not a whole lot considering the 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 number, the sheer number of thrift stores that I dragged my husband to. Anyway, hope your week was great. Um, back to work for me tomorrow. And another week for everybody else, I guess. So you take care and we will talk again soon. I hope you'll take a look at my blog to see what else is going on. You can follow me on Instagram. I um, post pictures more often than I post videos. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Take care.